So, Michael Bowen here. I'm going to talk to you about five different artists today. This first artist is about Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was a very unique and surreal individual. This Spaniard was best known for his extremely bizarre art. His expansive art clues include many things in film, sculpture, and photography. Dali had a very obscure imagination, which is his motive for all of his art. Dali's most famous art piece is titled The Persistence of Memory, which was done in 1931. This painting shows an image of melting pocket watches, which represents that time is relative and not fixed. This is another one of Dali's very famous paintings, called Swans Reflecting Elephants. As you can see, it's a very bizarre and surreal picture. This is also one of the few paintings in which Dali includes himself. Dali is not like any other artist you will ever come by. His bizarre but very interesting paintings draws attention to his creativeness in a way so that you will fall in love with it. Dali calls his painting method paranoia critical, which basically means that he uses his obsessions and fantasies for his artwork. Salvador Dali is a very creative and inspiring artist who will forever have an impact on the art world. Oh, sorry. You caught me brushing about some C++ programming here. Now back to my project. The next artist I'm going to talk about is Michael Basenko. Michael's a photographer but adds a little twist to his shots. He does what is called light graffiti or light sculpting. Bosenko transforms landscapes by using colored torches, which adds a very different looking kind of photograph. Bosenko uses a long exposure camera for his technique. While he is taking the shots, he is moving the torch so that it can create a figure or some sort of word. This technique uses the same principle as someone would to write their name out with a sparkler at nighttime. This is one of Michael Bosenko's photographs. All of the different streaks of light in this photo is him moving a torch throughout the expo exposure and the bright lights in the middle of the ball is when he points the torch directly at the camera. Andy Warhol was a legendary artist. He was born in the U.S. from his Sl Slovakian parents. Warhol showed early artistic talent so he began to study commercial art at the Carnegie Institute of Technology. Andy became well known for his ink drawings of shoes. Some of Warhol's very famous paintings include Campbell's Soup Cans and Coca-Cola. This painting is called 32 Campbell's Soup Cans. This work of art was produced in 1962 and consists of 32 canvases, which consist of a painting of a Campbell's Soup pan in each canvas. Each individual painting was produced by a process called silkscreening. Warhol switched to silkscreen prints, which is a printing technique that uses a woven mesh to support an ink blocking stencil. The attached stencil forms open areas of mesh that transfer ink as a sharp edged image onto a substrate. Andy also made movies. He made over 60 films between 1963 and 1968. Andy Warhol is a multi talented artist and is also very unique. His paintings of food products such as Campbell's and Coca-Cola separates his uniqueness from everybody else. Henry Moore is an exceptionally good artist. Henry is an English sculptor who likes to use the human body as his subject of art. In his typical sculpture, you will find it to be depicting the mother and child. Some of his artwork can be suggestive when he sculpts the female body. When Moore peaked in his career, he was popular for his larger scale, abstract, cast bronze, and carved marble structures. Casting means a form by some sort of mold. You then have to wait for it to dry. For his marble structures, he just used a tool to carve out what object he wanted it to be. This bronze sculpture represents a mother and child. This was what a lot of Moore's sculptures depicted. Moore was a one-of-a-kind sculptor. His sculptures are unique and his style is unforgettable. The last artist I'm going to talk about is M.C. Escher. M.C. Escher was a very talented artist. Escher has always had a special gift for sketching, but he was never a great student. Some of Escher's famous drawings include Drawing Hands and Still Life and Street. This picture is called Drawing Hands. This piece shows two hands which are drawing the other. This is a one-of-a-kind picture. Escher also sketched landscaping and nature. He tended to draw insects in many of his late sketches. 
One of Escher's other works is called Relativity, which is a lithograph print. A lithograph print is a reproduction of the original work of art, usually done in full color. This print depicts a world in which the normal laws of gravity do not apply. Escher was a one-of-a-kind artist. His unique sketch art will always stand out in art history. Each of these five artists I just talked about had a very substantial impact and a unique approach when it comes to their art style. Art rules! Yeah!